Hey guys, it's Captain again, and in this video, I'm going to review Big Brother 15 episode, um, episode 7. And this was an incredible episode. I mean, they really, the house is just upside down now, and it's so amazing. And, um, yeah, so they basically turned the house upside down now, and I just love everything that happened in this episode. So, so good. So basically, it starts off with um, with us seeing everyone, and we see that Alyssa and Helen are trying to convince literally everyone who's not in the Moving Company Alliance and Aaron, uh, anyone but the Moving Company and Aaron, to to um, vote for Nick. So they get so they try Andy, they try um, McRae, they try Amanda. Jesse was a little reluctant, though, because once they tell Jesse, she's kind of not so sure. But then she sees their plan, and she wants to do it, so she goes through with it, basically. And, um, <clears throat> so that was great. I was a little surprised they got McCray on their side. That was a little surprising. <clears throat> but I guess that since he's in a, a showmance with Amanda, whatever Amanda's going to do, McCray's going to do. You know, it's one of those sorts of things. So, yeah. That's what it seems like. Um, let's see, what else was I going to say? They were trying to get um, Howard and Spencer on their side, and it seemed like Spencer wouldn't, um, wouldn't want, didn't want to go on their side. He wanted to vote Alyssa out. Um, the movie company wanted to vote Alyssa out. And, um, yeah, so that's basically what was going on. And it was really incredible to see stuff be turned around. Then we get to the biggest moment of the episode, with, um, when we go to the live shows, <coughs> Julie, <coughs> Julie interviews the cast, basically, and she tells them how, um, she first asks them why there's so many showmances going on, and she asks Jesse, and I don't know why the hell she asked Jesse, out of all people, why did you ask her? I don't know. But basically, Jesse says that, um, she thinks it's a way to, um, find some, a trusted companion, someone you can stick by, and I actually really liked her response, because that's true, that's really why they picked the showmances, and there are a lot of showmances going on this year, it seems like every week we get a new showman, so that, that's interesting, I, that was an interesting question, then she asked, um, the racist comments, first we saw a video with, um, with, um, everyone, and we basically saw, oh, well, this was this was after Julie had basically interrogated Aaron and asked her, do, does she ever forget that there are cameras rolling? And um, she basically says how, um, she basically says the most idiotic thing, and I did not like what Aaron said at all. Basically, Aaron said, um, well, yes, I do know that there are cameras around. I'm a very open person, and I speak my mind. That's not what you say. You should have said, I have to admit, some of the comments I've made have been wrong and derogatory toward that, towards um, these certain people. That's what you should have said. Don't say, um, well, you know, I'm a very open person and I speak my mind and that's what I do. That's not what you say. You should have said, that you know there, that you sometimes forget that there are cameras around and just that was kind of rude what she said to Julie. It kind of felt like she didn't really want to get into it and she didn't really want to talk about it. The reason was because when we go back to the flashbacks or like what happened the previous night, we basically see that um, Amanda was talking to Aaron and I had read about this on the um, live feed and this was absolutely ridiculous. But basically, Amanda talked to Aaron, and she basically said to Aaron how, um, and I really liked the way Amanda was talking to Aaron, because it really seemed like Amanda really wanted to help her out. And deep down, Amanda, you know, thought these comments were rude, but she basically said to Aaron, I don't personally think these comments are rude, I know they're just joking, but they're not, but they're not joking to everyone who you're making fun of. And basically, this is what Aaron says, that is one of the most annoying, idiotic things I've ever heard. And they did not, thank God, they didn't show what she did next. She basically goes over to all those people that she said the bad comments about. She goes to them and she says, well, you call me Barbie. It's the same thing. We didn't see that part, but seriously, Aaron? Okay.
Okay, let me tell you something, Aaron. Everybody does that! Every blonde girl gets called Barbie or Blondie. That's nothing new. That's completely different from what you said. She had said this terrible comment about fish tank with like the white fish on the bottom and the black fish on the, I mean the black fish on the bottom and the white fish on the top. That is nothing. I mean, them calling you Barbie, what? That's not even an argument. You, I mean, in racist comments, you win. Alright, you win. Point taken for that. Then we get to the live eviction, and um, I really liked um, Alyssa's speech. She basically thanked everybody, and um, I liked what uh, Helen said too. Nick's speech was a little weird, though. Something about band-aids, I don't know. Um, with Helen, I don't know. Um, then we get to the live vote, basically. And, um, for a while, though, I was kind of worried because everybody was voting for Alyssa. Then, um, things kind of turned around. Um, McCray voted for, you know, some of the things that they did worked. McCray voted for Nick. Um, let's see. Amanda voted for Nick. Caitlin, um, voted for, I think, no, Caitlin voted for, um, Alyssa. Because whatever Jeremy did, Caitlin was going to do, obviously. And, um, Spencer, though, here's the biggest shocker. Spencer voted for Nick. Thank mm. you, Spencer. Thank you. They were able to convince him. They were not able to convince Howard. However, with Howard, I'm not angry at him because I think he was in a bind. And half of the people in his... I mean, when half of the people in your alliance are voting for Alyssa and half the people in your alliance are voting for someone in their alliance to leave, you kind of have to go with the majority and vote for the majority. So I can see why Howard did what he did, basically. And uh, basically, Nick leaves the house, which, thank you. Thank you for leaving the house. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So after that, Julie interviews Nick, basically, and one of the most interesting questions I think that she asked him is, is the moving company dead? And he kind of says how, yeah, it kind of is, and I think the moving company is dead as well, because, let's see, who do we have left? We have Jeremy, we have McRae, we have Spencer, we have Howard. That's it. Then you have all these other players now who are going to be in the mom squad, which I love that name, by the way, the mom squad. Um, I guess uh, Alyssa and Helen came up with that overnight. The Mom Squad really loved that uh, name. That's really cute. Um, so yeah, that's basically what happens. Then we get to the um, to the um, HOH competition, and we see one of the things that was so annoying was that once Nick left, why the hell is Gina Marie crying? We never saw a showmance between the two of them. Why is she crying? Yeah, I get it. Her crush left, but. You don't need to cry over him. You cry, baby. It was really annoying. And I understand that she's upset, but you don't need to cry over it. You don't need to make it like... You don't, you're making a scene out of yourself, basically. And you do realize there are cameras around that can see you. You don't need to cry to get... I mean, I don't know if she was, but I think she was trying to get sympathy votes. I think that's what it is. I think she's trying to get sympathy so she'll be saved next week. And if that's what she was trying to do... That is not the way to do it, Gina Marie. That is not the way to do it. Then we get to the um, to the live HOH competition, and it was taking a while because there were all these ties, basically. And basically, I loved how it worked with the uh, these packages, basically. Outside, there was the, the loud foghorn to wake them up, and they had to look at all the packages and remember them. And so she had to... Um, so Julie had, had to ask some questions about the packages, and... Um, it took a while, but anyway, Helen won HOH, and I am so happy that Helen won HOH, so that definitely gets applause, because Helen, you really deserve it, um, Mom Squad rules, uh, that, that's fantastic that she won, and Jean Marie starts crying again, basically, and we see that Jean Marie's crying again, and this time Helen was comforting her, which was sweet, but again, I think Jean Marie's just trying to get sympathy, so she won't be voted out this week. Now, what do I think uh, Helen should do from here? Put up Aaron and Jeremy. Um, 
As far as Gina Marie goes, I think that she's just a floater and they don't really know where to put her. That's why they didn't try to get her in their alliance. Um, but everybody else they did. Um, but put Jeremy and Aaron up and I have a feeling that um, if this continues, if the mom squad keeps um, basically, they flipped the house now. So, you know, everyone last week was with Aaron and everything. But now it's flipped around, so everyone's with Helen now and Alyssa in the mom squad, and that's really amazing. And that's just fantastic. I absolutely love this. Um, let me know what you guys thought of the episode. Are you happy that Helen won HOH? Um, who do you think she'll put up again? I think Aaron and Jeremy are the two best bets for the third nominee. I think she'll probably put up, um, she'll probably either put up Howard or, um, Either Howard or I think uh, Gina Marie. She'll probably put, it's probably gonna be Aaron, Jeremy, and Gina Marie. So that's probably who she'll put up. And if um if one of them wins the power veto, which I have a feeling Jeremy will win the power veto if they put him up, um then put up Howard. So then it's Aaron, Howard, and Gina Marie, and then Aaron can just bye bye because I really want her out of the house. She was really annoying this episode and very rude to Julie. So that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. And my next video, um, I'm actually going to see um, Grown Ups 2 today, so I might review that today. But I think I'm going to review Wilfred before that, so I will have my review of Wilfred before that. So see you guys then. Bye.